You know, Ellie, we really are the last of us. And with that iconic line, the last of us secured its place in the video game hall of fame. It really made you think. Now we get to relive the majesty, the beauty, and yes, even the humanity of The Last of Us, thanks to The Last of Us Part 1. Or at least, that's what I'd like to say. If The Last of Us Part 1 wasn't, indeed, a major letdown. How is it a major letdown? Well, let me count the ways. Two. Two ways. Two and a half. Tops. Three. Four? You see, Naughty Dog are a bunch of frauds. That's right, that's right. I'm not afraid to say it. In fact, I might be the only person on the internet who has ever criticised Naughty Dog because I'm a rebel, you see. Because I march to the beat of my own drum. I wank to the tits of my own porn mag, is what I'm saying. Sit back. Relax and prepare to be outraged by my blistering takedown of The Last of Us Part 1. Naughty Dog's never gonna live it down. Many people were excited for The Last of Us Part 1. I certainly wanted to be, as somebody who looks for any excuse to part with $70 in exchange for games that are nearly 10 years old, I would love to have seen this absolute classic visually rebuilt to be more cinematic, more detailed, more cinematic, and more cinematic than ever before. Well, having finally played the game, I'm sorry to say that this thing is an absolute train wreck, a disaster, a downright Fucking scam, if I'm honest. The Last of Us Part 1 is a slap in the face to anybody who gives the slightest damn about graphics and who expected something that actually looked good. Sure, they tell us the visuals have been overhauled, and the untrained eye might even be fooled into thinking the game looks better, but if you know anything about visual design like I tell people I do, you'll know that Naughty Dog are a bunch of hack fucks trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Do not be deceived. You want proof that we have been lied to and betrayed by those treacherous liars? Oh, I have the proof, my friends. I have spent hours scouring this game looking for things to be upset about, and it is with great pleasure that I can report just how unpleased I am. I simply hope you're ready for this absolutely shocking level of disappointment. Just look at this. Just fucking look at this. Yes, that's right. Your peepers ain't lying to you. Those are some leaves. Clearly, and I mean clearly, not moving in the water. Even when Joel is walking through them. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw how negligent, how slapdash, how absolutely fucking lazy Naughty Dog has been with this remaster. I mean, I hoped it, I mean, I expected it to be bad, but I wasn't prepared for something so offensive to my retinas. As you can see, the water ripples and responds to Joel's every movement, and yet the leaves are not moving at all. I stayed up until 4am wading backwards and forward through this pool until my partner told me to fucking turn the TV on off because it was 4am and I was unable to get a single leaf to move. This has honestly ruined the whole fucking game for me. No matter how hard I try to move past it, I can't stop thinking about The Last of Us Part 1's static leaf controversy. And it is a controversy because I'm gonna make it one. To help you understand exactly why this is a problem, here's the same footage with some red arrows and lines and circles added to better make my point. As you can see, the red lines really make it look like I'm saying something. Here's a random screenshot that I added a whole bunch of red lines to. I really made it look like there's a problem. You can tell by how red everything is. Also, check this out, right? If I add two vertical lines here, an oval just over here, two more vertical lines, a slight curved point just here, a circle, two triangles, smiley face and whiskers. I've drawn a little cat! 
I haven't been this fucking flabbergasted by terrible visuals since I saw a blurry split second still from a Marvel movie on Twitter that someone said looked bad because of some reasons. Sure, I hadn't noticed it when I watched the movie myself, but it really became apparent just how fucking ugly the entire film was once that 0.5 seconds of poor visual effects was frozen, isolated and magnified for dissemination on social media. Just how fucking Dare Disney's overworked and underpaid visual effects artists make those movies look like absolute shit when stripped of all context. You know, Taika Waititi was fucking right to throw them all under the bus. Of course, Naughty Dog shit is no stranger to Naughty Dog shit. That's quite funny. They're no stranger to producing absolute graphical disasters. Need I remind you all about Uncharted 4 and Lemongate? Yet another allegedly beautiful game that tried to convince us it was a cutting edge AAA title with gorgeous top of the line graphics and yet it has the ugliest fucking lemons in video games. Jaggy, textureless, I hope someone got fired. How are we expected to take this joke of a studio seriously when it can't even get lemons right? It's like nobody expected someone to pay that much attention to the lemons, but I fucking know my lemons. I'm a regular contributing editor to Lemon Fancier Monthly, and let me tell you, this kind of shit wouldn't even be fit for a kid's lemonade stand, let alone be featured in what's supposed to be a Hallmark PlayStation title. I'd tell Naughty Dog to go suck on a lemon, but these lemons are doing enough sucking on their own. Just what is going on with that lemon basket? That's just a few shitty lemon models on top of a flat yellow circle. How fucking incompetent, how fucking lackadaisical can one studio be? Not once has anybody at Naughty Dog or Sony addressed the Lemongate controversy, even after my letter writing campaign, even after I called Sony customer support morning, noon and night. Not even after that producer took out a restraining order on me. In all these years, the game industry has just pretended that everything was okay. But can a single one of you look at these lemons and tell me it's okay? It's not okay! The lemons are not okay! This is Lemongate, people! <laughs> And it's about time someone said that the first Uncharted looked fucking terrible as well. Look at it! It looks like a fucking PS3 game! When you notice one tiny thing that's not perfect with a game's graphics, you start to realise just how awful everything is. Look what happens when we zoom in really, really close to this gameplay footage. No closer than that. Closer still. Just a little bit more perfect. Look how fucking blurry that is! It's jaggy, it's muddy, it's borderline incomprehensible! Is this a video game or the fucking juice is collecting at the bottom of an alleyway dumpster? Holy mackerel! Seriously, has Naughty Dog even ever been good? I think that's what The Last of Us Part 1 really got me thinking about as I endured every ugly, ugly second of it. Even some of this game's most iconic and allegedly beautiful moments are fucking atrocious when you want them to be. Take this scene for example, oh everyone makes such a big deal about how touching it is, how serene, how it made them want to cry, just this quiet truly human moment between Joel and Ellie as they find a hopeful element of quiet peace and natural beauty among all the bleak misery and human suffering. But all I'm able to do is sit here and think, well, Naughty Dog really can't draw a fucking horse to save its life. What were they thinking when they birthed this fucking alien? It's yellow! It's massive! And what the hell is wrong with its neck? If that's a horse, I'm a goddamn polar bear! Well, less said about polar bears the better, considering Naughty Dog seems to think this is what they look like. Some of you might still be unconvinced that The Last of Us Part 1 is shit. Probably because you're woke, but that's why I came armed with a smoking gun. That's right, losers. You might think I'm being an absolute pedant who looks for one tiny little oversight in hours and hours of media to contrive a controversy and score cheap clout on social media, but you weren't prepared for a smoking gun now, were you? Here it is, you fucking cucks. My smoking gun!
Yeah, that's right. Read it and weep. Just look at that small, white, flickering square and feel your entire worldview fucking crumble. I rest my fucking case. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, I was being sarcastic throughout all that. Uh, just pointing out a trend I've seen. I saw it with The Last of Us Part 1. A lot of screenshots with red lines and text and diagrams all over it. Looking a bit like those blueprints that Wile E. Coyote would have in the old Roadrunner cartoons. Like, I think they were proving some sort of point, but I couldn't really tell ya. Now I'm all for expecting high standards from mainstream video games and indeed entertainment in general. I call for them all of the time. But some of the pedantry I'm seeing with regards to things that just don't matter is intense. I'll say that much. It certainly seems that with every Marvel film being released, uh, we get this. We get these screenshots, these blurry stills of like a split second of a film that's supposed to prove how shit the visual effects are. The funny thing is, is half the time I look at these screenshots and I'm like, what am I supposed to be looking, what's the problem? What's bad? The, the screenshots are taken so far away from the context that I can't even contextualize what's bad about them. Which is to say nothing of what I will be thinking or indeed not thinking when I'm watching all of it in motion. Now this isn't to say, of course, that we can't lay plenty of blame at the feet of the industry itself, whether it's the video game industry or the movie industry. I've talked many times about how this is an industry that pushed graphics so hard, that, that made such a big deal over visuals more than anything else when it came to pushing hardware, when it came to telling us why game systems were better than the competition, when it came to hyping up new game releases to the point that studios would lie would doctor screenshots, would run uh, gameplay footage on hardware that was superior to the hardware it was being sold on. It's small wonder that we have now this breed of nerd that is so obsessed with visual effects and graphical power that they are uh, 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 freeze-framing movies to point at it and say, look how shit this looks, while everyone else just shrugs and wonders what the goddamn problem is. While I like to think that today's video was an extreme example of the kind of, of nitpicking we're seeing, I don't think it actually is. I think there are actually more ridiculous examples of this, this hysteria uh, that you could see in real life, this, this picking apart of visual effects. I mean, was anything I said in today's video as ridiculous as Puddlegate? Uh, the controversy over the quote-unquote downgraded puddles in the Insomniac Spider-Man game. A bit of the ground was drier in the final release compared to some footage that was in a pre-release build, and the world span off its axis with apathy. Mostly, it was only a small group that cared to that degree, but my god did they care. That said, the lemons in Uncharted 4 truly are the worst lemons in video game history. And that I will die on. That I will take to the grave. That I will fight tooth and nail to assert. Naughty dog, you hack fucks. What were you thinking, you citrus shits? Bad lemons. They were bad lemons, is what I'm saying. Bad lemons. <laughs> Hope you liked today's video anyway. A little bit of selling uh, before we continue on with our day. If you go to thegymporium.com, we're having a restock soon. Uh, you'll be able to get while they last a the gays can do whatever they want shirt or a something something capitalism bad shirt and a whole bunch of other stuff. Also, on September 24th in Sheffield, a, a, a wrestling event is happening with a promotion that I co-founded with my partner Phoenix. Uh, it is called Spectrum Wrestling. Our first show is called Rejoice. It is streaming at 7 p.m. UK time with a 6.30 pre-show uh, at Twitch TV slash Jim Sterling. Tickets are available at buytickets.at slash Spectrum Wrestling. If you can make it, I highly recommend it. We've got a hell of a card, including yours truly, as well as some Tory wankers still pissed off that Craig booked a couple of Tories in Xeonox and Benji. But we live, we learn, we thank God for me. Bye! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zio, we've heard it all before. If they can't pay the rent, evict them. That's not our problem. 
I don't care, they've got kids. Anyway, back to the important stuff. Commander Sterling's wrestling show, Spectrum Wrestling in Sheffield. Rejoice, as I say. Anyway, did you get the landed gentry on? You did? Well, you ran Greg. You impersonated Commander Sterling. And he fell for it. What an idiot! No way! Ah, oh, I can't wait to see the little faces in Sheffield when we turn up. They will never have seen anyone like us. They're like little rats around there. They all eat all the bins. Yeah. Actually, you're right. It might be good for them. You know, seeing two men like us who've made it in life off our own back. Yeah, pretty good. Well done, Zio. Drinks on you, eh? <laughs> See you later. Spectrum Wrestling. Sounds good to me.